what's going on guys welcome back in another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how we can be eligible for the potential airdrop from alt layer and quickly before we're going to get started go to my twitter and follow me there because this is where you can learn about daily updates about airdrop ordinals nfts and crypto related stuff so step number one you want to go to the official twitter page and you want to follow them for the latest updates in case they're going to post something important then step number two you want to go to the official discord and you want to verify yourself because it's going to be important later on so step number three you want to go to chainlist.org and you want to look for support once you're gonna see this click add to metamask so the next step you'll need to request some sepolia tokens to do that basically you will need to go to alchemy.com sign up with your google account and then basically put your wallet address verify that you are not a robot and click send me eve so now i have the testnet eve on the sepolia network and it took me about 10 seconds to receive it so the next step what we're gonna do is we will need to go to the testnet faucet alderay.io and you'll need to verify with your twitter once you verify yourself, you'll need to go to your MetaMask wallet and copy your wallet address and then paste that wallet in there and click claim button. Now we successfully claimed the tokens and the tokens should arrive shortly. Now the next step, you'll need to go to all bridge rollups and then connect your wallet address, connect your MetaMask and connect to the website. So now once you connect it to the website, if you click the drop down menu, you can see you have your Ether, you have your multi sequencer testnet tokens and also multi sequencer test NFT. So as you can see, I have zero MS NFT. So we'll need to do that now. So if you go to this website, we can mint this NFT. So make sure you connect your wallet first, connect your MetaMask wallet and do pretty much the exactly same steps how we did it before. So connect your wallet. Once you do that, you can click mint NFT and we have the ability to mint 10 NFTs. So let's mint the maximum because why not? This is a testnet, it's free, so we can do that. You can see this is the fee for the NFTs and this is completely free because we are paying with DC for the Ethereum, which is testnet, so you can click on the confirm button. Now, if we go back to all bridge rollups, you can see that if we click the drop down menu, you can see we have Ethereum, multi layer sequencer, and NFTs. So we have everything what we need. So first, we'll bridge Ethereum over to multi sequencer testnet L2 and we'll select the amount that we want to send. So for example, we can send 0.01 ETH and then click on the deposit button. Then your MetaMask wallet is going to pop up and you need to just confirm the transaction. Now, as you can see, our deposit is initiated, so it might take a while, so just be patient. So now that's done, you can click back to home and then you want to click this down arrow and you want to switch network to a multi sequencer so you want to approve it in your metamask wallet so click on the approve button click switch network and then you want to click the drop down menu and you want to select ethereum so we have 0.1 on this network so we can select for example 0.08 let's say and we want to send it back to over to cfolia so click on withdraw then click confirm and now once you're going to see this is pretty much done which is like 75 percent you want to click switch to cfolia so your metamask is going to pop up and then you will need to switch network and once you're gonna be on Cefolia, you wanna finalize the withdrawal. So click on it, your MetaMask is gonna pop up one more time, and then you wanna click on the confirm button. Now we did that and we can click back to home. And then we want to select different tokens. So we did Ethereum, we're gonna do it the testnet token now. So we're gonna send over two MSEQ tokens and then we're gonna click approve. Your MetaMask is gonna pop up, just select the amount that you wanna approve it, and then click approve. And once it's done, you wanna click on the deposit button. And then once again, your MetaMask is going to pop up, just confirm the transaction. So once it's done, click back to home. And then you want to click once again on the down arrow. Then your MetaMask is going to pop up and you will need to switch network to multi sequencer, testnet layer two. As we can see, we have two MSEQ tokens and we're going to send one to Cefolia. So click on a withdraw and then confirm your transaction. Once again, when you see about 75% done, you will need to click switch to Cefolia. Your MetaMask is going to pop up and then switch your network and then click finalize withdrawal. Now, once you've done that, you'll need to click back to home. And then from the drop down menu, you will need to select the NFT that we previously minted. And then you want to click on the NFT ID. So now you want to select the NFT. It doesn't really matter which one you're going to choose. You can select only one. So let's select this one for example and then click on the approve button once it's done click on the deposit button and then once again confirm transactions in your metamask so once completed click back to home and then you want to click this down arrow you want to switch your network in your metamask so click switch network and then we need to select the nfts that we previously transferred so click on the nft that we have and then select the id and click on the withdraw button and then once again when you see around 75 percent you want to switch to cfolia then confirm the switch network in your metamask and click finalize withdrawal so then the next step you want to go ahead and go to alt layer and then you want to swap ether to weave so let's do 0.3 and we're going to deposit it to weave so click on the deposit button and then your metamask is going to pop up and just simply confirm the transaction so now once we've got our wrapped ethereum we want to go ahead to the roll up staking portal and from the drop down menu you can select any different node validator so let's say for example alpha 
and you want to stick it so i'm just gonna say 0.02 and then i'm gonna click on the approve button to confirm it in your wallet so set up the custom spending limit in your wallet and confirm the transaction once that confirmed click on the stake button and confirm transaction in your wallet so once we are done with our staking portal we can come back to the swap feature and here we want to swap the remaining weave that we have to ether so let's say we're gonna swap 0 0.0 at 9 because we have to pay somehow for the transaction and then you click withdraw then simply confirm the transaction in your metamask wallet and wait so now the next step we'll need to request some beacon token and beacon is another protocol that we need to request the alt tokens so let's do that so sign up with your twitter account then copy your wallet address and paste that in this field and click claim and right now we are on the beacon staking website and if you have a look on our metamask we added the beacon layer and also we have three alt tokens in the wallet but unfortunately, if we're going to click on manage delegations, we are unable to add our tokens to the pool because everything is filled. So there's no space for us to join to the pool. You can come back later today or you can come back the another day and try to uh, delegate your funds to it because that's going to help us to complete the quest on the Galaxy website. So now the next step, you want to move on to Galaxy website. And on Galaxy website, you want to verify yourself that you did all of these different quests. So you might go back after 24 hours because everything has to be approved by the curator. So now if I'm going to click it, it's not going to work. But if you're going to go back later on after 24 hours, you can verify yourself then. So you have two quests. You can do the multi-sequencer. And the second one we've got is beacon layer and roll-up staking. And of course, don't forget to join my Discord because this is where we talk about the upcoming airdrops, opportunities, how you can make money in Web3 space, ordinals, NFTs, so you can definitely find something for yourself. We also have different guides on airdrops like Layer Zero, Starknet, ZK Sync, and so on. And if you guys think the video is useful, definitely go to my Twitter, follow me there, because this is where you can get the latest updates. And please do smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below what you think about this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.